So the best way to avoid eyeglass glare in photos is to prevent it from happening in the first place. But if you didn't do that and you want to know how to get rid of it in Lightroom, stay tuned. We've all done it. You take a photo, you think it looks great, you go back to the computer with the photo and there's glare on their glasses and you can't really see their face or their eyes. Now, Lightroom's not necessarily the best tool to do that, to fix that. Photoshop is. But I know a lot of you just use Lightroom, so we're gonna go over some ways to fix that in Lightroom. So let's jump in. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom and this is a photo that looks pretty indicative of what you're probably going to see if you get glasses glare from something like a window or lights or something else going on or just just a bright area in the room in which the person is. So first thing we're going to do here is identify the areas that we need to get rid of. And we have three major areas here. We have this section down here in the lower right, this big section up here in the upper right, and then right under the eyeball right there. Uh, the left eye is not so bad, and that's usually what happens. Just the way the ang light angles, you're going to have one eye that's worse than the other. So the first thing we want to do here is grab the spot removal tool. And I'm going to put the feather and the opacity all the way up to 100% and make sure it's on heel and that will blend it in a little bit better. Now the next thing, I want to have the size very low and it's something about the, the, this tool that it just works better for something like this when the size is very small. So I'm going to start kind of outlining this area here that I want to fix. And I want to get as close to the edge of the glasses as possible without touching it. And kind of outline it and then I'm going to fill that in. That way we make sure we get all the areas and kind of color it in a little bit. And let's see what it does. And of course the tool goes rogue and tries to pull in a piece of hair from, from all the way over there. So you gotta, you got to bring it back and pull it down this skin right here looks good and you know that did an actually a pretty good job okay so in this next step we're going to use the brush tool to fix some of what's going on here from the spot removal tool so I'm going to grab the brush tool go down and make sure keep that flow or somewhere in the mid 70s and that feather up at a hundred percent and again I want to use a smaller tool now the first thing you want to get in the habit of doing is double click the effect button that just resets everything so you can start anew now I'm going to reduce clarity by a hundred percent and reduce sharpness by a hundred percent and what this does is it adds a blur to the image so it kind of blends in some of these areas that we've used the spot removal tool and look a little bit unnatural. So you can see there's like the outline here. So I'm just going to go in and kind of blur that up a little bit. And it just makes everything look a little more natural. And it also has the added benefit of reducing wrinkles and kind of smoothing out the skin there. We're going to do some up here. Get rid of that. You can see the glare has added some lines. Now I don't want to mess around with this area where there's detail, but you can see there's lines over here from the glare, so we can, we can just blend those in a little bit. Just make it all look a little more natural. Now we're super zoomed in, so you're going to be able to see the blur here when you back off it's going to look pretty good so here's the before and here's the after we got rid of a lot of that glare and now you can see her eyes in the image looks much better now there's another thing that you're going to see with glasses glare and that is 
discoloration or the glare having its own color. So that gets a little more tricky and really when you see that, your goal is not to get rid of it, your goal is gonna to be to minimize it. So let's look at another photo where that happened. So in this image you can see that she's out in the sun, the photo was taken out in the sunlight and she's got this green tint to the glare here. So again, we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna grab the brush tool and double click effect to uh, get rid of all the settings and the first thing I want to do is bring down the saturation. So I'm going to lower saturation and make sure that it's, again, somewhere in the 70s on flow. I like to feather at 100% and use a very small brush. Now here it, it can be helpful. Uh, also make sure auto mask is selected. I'm going to press the, the O button and add the overlay. And you can use the, uh, the checkbox over here too. That way I can see where I'm painting. It helps kind of stay in the lines. I don't want to really get the blue of the eye here. I want to stick to kind of the skin area and the white of the eye when I'm doing the desaturation. And really what we're trying to do is just knock down that green color so that it's not overwhelming and it's not kind of overtaking the photo and being distracting. So now let's turn the overlay off. Let's look at before, after, before and after. And you can see we've, you know, it's not great, but we've brought it down a little bit. Now the other thing you can try here is to play with hue. And if you move the hue to the left here, you're going to get something a little, a little closer to skin tone. Now that, that also brings it down a little bit. Let's again look at before, after. Now we've knocked down even more. And the last thing I want to do is bring the exposure down a little bit. Ever so slightly. You don't want to go too far because then it just looks weird. So now we've brought that glare. You know what? I'm going to... This might be a, a situation where you don't want to bring the exposure down. You want to keep a little bit of that brightness. Otherwise, it just looks unnatural. So that's the before and that's the after. So if we back away and zoom out. You can see the before and the after. And we've reduced that green color significantly and now you can see her eyes a little bit better. Again, this is not going to be something where you can get rid of it altogether. So there you have it. Two ways you can get rid of glasses glare in Lightroom. If you found this helpful, make sure you hit subscribe and click that little bell icon so you get notified when I put up new tutorials just like this one. There's going to be a lot more coming up. Thanks for watching.